Hello and welcome to the show. We are back on Car Mechanic Simulator. Today we are going to be finding a new sort of project car to be working on because rather than just grabbing something and going for a full restoration, I'm going to be limited in terms of the money. I'm going to see how good of a restoration job I can do on a car with just $20,000. That is all I am going to have to spend on whatever vehicle I end up with. I don't know what car we're going to be working on. As I said before, it's not going to be this giant boat. That's going to be saved for a uh, later date. We're going to... Well, first of all, I'm going to head towards a barn... Well, I say barn find. Barn finds, I think, are changing the way they work, perhaps, because we get this... I don't even know where I got this from. I assume from levelling up, but there might be a way to acquire these outside of levelling up at some point in the near future. So... Yeah, we've got a new barn rumour, I guess. It should appear on the map, which it will. And so we're going to head over there, just in case we happen to stumble across anything extra super duper interestingly awesome. Well, here we are, inside of a very pokey... There's another McLaren! <laughs> <laughs> I, was say, I thought it was a very pokey little barn. Uh, no, apparently it's a bit bigger than I was expecting. And, oh, look! There's another McLaren. What are the bloody chances of that one? I would imagine pretty bloody small. Uh, how many barns did we go through? Um, I, I, uh, can I actually, oh, the McLaren's so big I can't actually get past it, even if I wanted the Eclipse lookalike over there. But I'm not even, even going to have the money for... <laughs> but this is in far too good a condition. 5.6 million. Uh, well... Apparently, McLarens are not difficult to find inside barns. There are other options for vehicles. There is a, a Chieftain TBX. There is also that Eclipse that I can't actually get to because, yeah, the hitbox around the McLaren is such. Um, I mean, it's kind of a better barn and a worse barn in some ways than, than I was expecting. Uh, I don't think we ever worked on one of these cars in particular, but we worked on, on fairly, fairly similar ones. Um, of course, the one exciting thing is way outside. I say way. Two too outside of uh, my price range at the uh, at the moment so I guess we are going to go and head off to the junkyard it was worth a look and I'm interested to see how the whole new acquiring maps thing is going to pan out for barn finds a better way of uh, hopefully having more of these places to explore so we are off to the junkyard instead immediate uh, possibilities around here of factory cars to work on. There's a Mazda RX-7, we could restore that. <laughs> there's a DB5, there's a Honda S800, and there's a GT40, uh, I'm assuming you'll be a replica rather than a genuine one. Uh, yep, you are <laughs> a replica. Um, well, we've hit the mother load of interesting cars. Now, I've worked on DB5s a fair few times. This, I'm thinking, might be our vehicle of choice here. The Honda S800, only $5,000. Now, I'm not costing, I'm not having the, the price of the vehicle in the, the whole 20 grand to restore it, which is going to use 20 grand solely on the restoration or the cost of the trip here and so on. Uh, do we have anything else? Surely there can't be any more wonders inside this particular junkyard. Uh, I was wrong. I was really, really wrong. Wow. <laughs> This has been the junkyard of, of many, many things. Well, we will buy you. Yes, I will take a Shelby Daytona. Uh, you can go back to the... Yeah, you can go back to the garage. We'll restore that one. And then when that's restored, I'll probably restore that all off camera just to get the money to maybe get a McLaren if we happen to stumble. I'm never going to find a McLaren again. I, I would just like to say that now. The <laughs> McLaren never going to turn up again when I have the money. But, uh, okay. So, six Daytonas, I've found two of them in the same junkyard. Uh, apparently, we have an awful, awful lot of uh, luck go going on. This is what I'm going to be working on today, though. The little Honda uh, in, well, supposedly bright purple. Cool. Let's get the Honda back. We'll see what I can do with 20 grand. So, we're back to the workshop with the little Honda, and there is, well, plenty of work to be doing with this car. As I said, 20 grand is how much I'm going to have to spend to try and repair this vehicle. I'm going to be trying to make as much profit on the car as I possibly can, and the car must work. I must be able to drive the vehicle before I sell it. Uh, however, my choice of how I go about repairing it and so on is completely up to me. So, yeah. 
the first first thing first really to do on this is going to be the welder, the body frame on it. It's such a noticeable, awful looking thing on this that uh, oh, I like how the uh, <laughs> car jack is on. Yeah, such a noticeable, obvious thing that really desperately, desperately, desperately needs fixing. That uh, that's what we're going to do. It actually comes with license plates. That's quite impressive. So we will do that. That's going to be a thousand. It's not exactly cheap, but it is very, very much needed on the car. So, that's a thousand, a thousand dollars gone. As far as completion-wise goes, of course, running gear is going to be there, because the wheels have to be on it. Uh, the engine is not too terrible. We are going to have to buy some bits. Now, some bits are going to be repairable. Some bits aren't going to be repairable. I think the best bet I'm going to have here... It's going to be, yank the engine out, and not worry about the running gear for now. If we get, see as much, see how much of the engine I can repair, and then we will make a judgement call on what to start with the suspension. Seems like a solid idea to me. Because if I start working on too many bits at once and end up running out of money, I'll have an incomplete car. And a car that won't run, and then I will have very, very much failed this particular challenge. So if we get the engine out of the car, get that into, I say into pristine condition, into as good a condition as I possibly can, then that would be a solid place to start. Oh, no, 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 don't waste another grand on that. Move equipment, that's what I want to do. We need the engine crane that's over here. Uh, move it to you. Um, right. Grain out the engine, we can do that. That's going to be clear. We'll mount that on the stand. There we go. Uh, don't think I've actually worked on one of these engines. Certainly not for a very, very long time. We can get a radiator out. Battery I can charge for, uh, well, for free. Ah, I really like how uh, <laughs> it's kind of got like all the electrics and so on are part of the bodywork uh, for this. That's really neat. It's a really neat little uh, little way of doing things. It's kind of a workaround, you know, because we can't have the various fluid tanks and, and, and the various fluids, etc., for the cars. It's a nice thing to uh, nice thing to see on a mod vehicle. Let's go run over here then. Stick the battery on charge. That can do its thing because that'll be for free. Now, engine relatively simple engine. This one, I would hope, doesn't look like it has a head cover. Uh, camshaft might be repairable. Now, gotta also bear in mind when it comes to repairing parts, it will cost money. Do we have a single bearing? Uh, oh wow, we have crankshaft two, two whole crankshaft bearings for something that's come out of a uh, junkyard. That's quite good going. Oh, I also did clear out my inventory before I started, so there will be no reusing of bits from other builds and so on. This is all just stuff coming straight off from this, uh, well, from this car. And not going to have any big end bearings. The piston rings might... Oh, we've got one uh, big end bearing. I lied. Uh, okay, so three bearings in total from a uh, <laughs> junkyard car. Not too shabby. Uh, some of these will be salvageable. But I don't know how many, and is that all? Okay, that's all that's going to be, so engine block will come out as well. That's repairable, which is a good start. However, as I said, these bits cost money to fix. Now, it's going to be worth repairing these. You know, it's $7 for a percentage chance and so on, and some of these could, bits could potentially get quite expensive if I needed to buy them new, but it's going to all add up, especially when I'm having to click, you know, multiple times to get through these. So, yeah, we're going to have to just go through it. It is going to cost me a fair amount, actually, in repairing all of this stuff. Just keeping an eye on the uh, on the old money side. I don't think we actually broke anything in that, though, which is good. Which is, yeah, which is nice to know. Okay, let's get the engine block on. We will have a crankshaft to go in. Yep, yeah, we will need all of these bits. Pistons. We have got three pistons, four piston rings. Perfect. Uh, unfortunately, one of the pistons was too broken to be repaired, but at least we've got that many salvaged, if you like, and we might have a couple of these crankshaft bearings. I think we got incredibly lucky in that everything that went through there was repaired. Basically, so if it came off in good enough condition, it was repaired. Flywheel, we will be needing along with a clutch plate and a pressure plate was too buggered. Right, okay, so the pressure plate's gone. Uh, we will be. Ah, oh, we're gonna need all of the little. 
<laughs> We're going to need all of the little fiddly bits and pieces for this. Right, let's go and grab... Ooh, did we manage to repair? I didn't actually check. The rod cap? Yes, yeah, so we've got one rod cap. So, we need three rod caps, a crankshaft bearing, a clutch pressure plate. I'm never going to remember all of these. Oops, don't want that. Uh, right, we are going to want three of those. We're going to want a piston. One of those is $72. However, it's going to be needed. Uh, we are going to need a crankshaft bearing. Yes, we need a uh, clutch pressure plate. Now, the, the prices you see come up here, I, I pay slightly less. One of the perks that you get for leveling up one of the skills, uh, essentially, that you can, you can spend your skill points on is for cheaper prices when it comes to buying stuff, which is something that I have got, which is why you will see stuff come up here. That one there, for example, is only $31 instead of 35 So it will be slightly easier for me in terms of, well, buying all of these bits and pieces. However, you know, it's it's still going to cost cost money. It's, still, it's, it's not like I'm getting free parts from all of this. That's the last of the bearings. Piston can go in with the rings. Perfect. I say perfect. It's, it's good news that we've got all of that there. We don't have an oil pan, of course. We won't. Uh, engine head. That is, ex well, I say extra, extra good news. All of these, the main bits, the expensive bits, the bits will be horrible, horrible to have to try and replace, are here intact. And I think I got the gearbox fixed as well. Cam gear, we did get that fixed. Uh, now we're not going to have a timing belt. We have to buy all that separate. Uh, we need camshaft caps. We need five of those. Okay, let's go four let's go cap uh, camshaft cap ooh there's a lot more camshaft caps than i was expecting let's, let's just go check it was just a generic one i thought it was right so we need five of those yes we need timing uh we need i was it i4 single overhead valve i4 uh single ooh there's a lot of uh... so okay Never mind. Uh, I for single overhead cam. Sorry, is what we wanted for I for S O S S O. There we go. Right. So we're gonna want the timing belt for that. We're gonna want that belt. I would imagine at some point we'll need that. We will need the timing cover. We'll need the ignition coil. At some point we'll need to get the exhaust done for it. And again, we'll need the exhaust manifold. We do have camshaft. We do have cam gear. Okay, we will need an alternator. That's going to be important to get the damn thing working. We will need a spark plug. We will need four spark plugs. Didn't come with any. It's another 20. Uh, we needed uh, intake. We needed... Was it MPI? I think it was MPI, but I'm not going to go and buy something without checking. It was MPI. So this is just got to get me a good basis of parts to uh, be working with for now. Uh, ah, crap, we need a belt engineer. Typical. Uh, oh, managed to... Uh, there we go, that's better. I can spell. Kind of typing faster than I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> belt engineer is good. Timing cover, we can manage there. Oh, we need a crankshaft pulley. I did buy an alternator as well. Sweet, we need... Water. Oh, I need a water pump for a second. I thought that was just pulley. Never mind. Don't worry about me. All right, let's get the cam shaft caps in. Now, thankfully, we don't have to worry as much about lots of fiddly little bits with this engine. It's a fairly, thankfully, fairly simple engine by the look. So it shouldn't be too bad on the old rebuild process. But I am uh, <laughs> keeping an eye, keeping an eye on the money. I haven't done too bad so far in terms of money here. So I think we should be able to get we should be able to get the engine almost completely brand new in this car. I say almost completely brand new. Jesus, there's these uh, uh there's a little bit more high tech an engine, I'll be honest, than we would have got in the Honda. <laughs> in the Honda originally. However, as I say it'd be more high tech, but probably not as crazy as that um Honda Revy thing. Uh, I do like the S eight hundred just for pure craziness. Right, shall we go and stick all of these bits onto the list so that I can go through and get all of this lot and not forget or not get slightly the wrong sort. That uh, tends to help. Crankshaft, pulley, idle, another idle roller, 
uh, steering pump we don't have uh, and we don't have an oil pan or an oil filter okay they should be all the bits that we need barring a couple of little bits and pieces we'll probably need a water pump pulley I think would be one of the uh, one of the bits that we haven't got that we will need further down the line that we haven't got to as of yet uh, that's that Jesus that's expensive <laughs> the head cover is not exactly uh, not exactly cheap All right fuel filter yes we will need that we will need a fuel rail MPI one of those yes we need a throttle uh, I four throttle check we need a water pump and a water pump pulley a water pump I four as far as I know there's only one pulley so we will get that thankfully it is a nice uh, cheap part in comparison to a lot of other stuff crankshaft pulley uh, roller we're probably going to need we might need a couple of these but I don't really want to get any at the moment just in case just in case we uh, don't need any more further down the line try and keep money uh, power steering pump I4 then we need an oil pan or an oil filter just a generic I4 not an I4C and then we need an oil pan for just an I4 again I guess this is kind of like the game's really default engine in some ways but that's I'm okay with that I can I can I can live with working on the really default engine uh, it makes it makes life easier not having to try and remember well I say not having to try and remember all the different little you know if it's B or C or whatever but then I'm still n not realizing because I've not worked on these before. <laughs> I'm so used to working on the big V8s in this game. It's just, I'm so, so used to working on those as the, the general go-to um, engine for cars here. That it's kind of, oh, we're not going to need a pulley on that. Bloody typical. Trying to be clever. Because I think that, actually, the top of the, uh, what do they need there? Oh, serpentine belt A. Uh, so let's get this, otherwise I'll bloody forget what I'm looking for. Serpentine belt A, there we go. And then I can finish the sentence. If I try... <laughs> Try to do too much at once. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so used to defaulting to working with the V8s and so on here that uh, working on the i4 is kind of kind of peculiar. It's just not something that I've ever really never really done on this game that much. Right, so that's the engine largely largely completed. Now we just need spark plugs. Okay, I mean that's good news for me, certainly in terms of money. I mean, uh, when I set out to start this, I didn't really know. Um, how how much money to set myself as a goal i figured 20 grand was it might be a little bit extreme in terms of amount of money to go and rebuild a car um you know if you do sort of project cars you might hope that it would be for for less money and so on but then this game sort of price of stuff can sometimes be a little bit funky so it didn't really know whether 20,000 was going to be too little or or too much at the moment we've got a fair amount of it uh still to go i think we've got about i think let me try and figure it out about 16 grand so we spent four grand uh roughly in fixing up the engine for the honda we have still got to get the whole damn car working so there's going to be potential problems along the way right so that is definitely the engine done certainly for now so let's take that engine Let's go and install the engine into our vehicle, and then we can move the equipment. You can go back over there. Right, so we have our glorious, shiny, shiny engine. We'll get the gearbox in and the driveline in, uh, possibly. Let's have a look, see what we've got repairable. And oh, over here, part mount. So we should be able to get the gearbox on the car. Thank God that was about... I could have had a lot worse time, for example... I've got lucky in that the um, engine block, the head, and the gearbox are all repairable for this. I mean, engine block, okay, it's not the, the fanciest engine block, but engine block, engine head, and gearbox, if they'd all been below 15% or I'd broke them trying to repair them, that could have been three or 4,000. So, yeah, that's uh, fairly, uh, fairly helpful, quite frankly. Let's go stick this down. Oh, okay. We have got to find, I think, at least one. Uh, do we have... No, no, I've only got one cat, of course, on this. That makes life easier, because they're quite expensive to be uh, faffing around with, to be replacing. Now, if we go grab a starter motor, uh, we will, I think, give this car... We'll put some oil in it first. 
and then I might see if it actually works. See what else we might be... Oh, I guess we need... We will need all of the exhaust, won't we, to test the engine. So let's go pull the cat off, see if I can repair it. Because at least if we've got it, if we've got it to the state where it's working, I mean, it's not anywhere near fully restored and so on. That's to be expected. Um, rear muffler's going to be repairable. Crap, the cat isn't, though. Uh... Damn it, because they're a couple of hundred, I think, at least. Okay, it is exactly 200. Well done, me. Um, so we've got 200 for that. The rear exhaust section can go on. I didn't see what that wanted. Oh, it is a middle muffler. Okay, that's fine. Uh, catalytic converter can go on there. Rim muffler can go on there. We will need to put... Oh, we will need a drive shaft and the middle muffler. So we'll go mid. Oh, that's another $100. And a drive shaft. All of the many drive shafts I've had. Uh, oh, that's a lot of money. Buy another five hundred dollars gone on that. It is a very important part, though. Let's face it. Uh, we do we do very much need the drive shafts to have this vehicle to well stand a chance in the way of working. We'll grab the battery. Then uh, maybe maybe it won't. Hit more. I might not have a fuel. Uh, where is the fuel tank? Uh, where is the fuel tank, like, going to... Because I was waiting to have a fuel pump, and that to be, you know, in, in my diagnosing of why won't a car run, um, electrics, you know, like spark and so on, we've got all the spark plugs, we've got all the... We've got brand new spark plugs, brand new wires, brand new ignition coil, so on battery, we're just putting in here now, so it wouldn't be that. My think was... My thought was fuel. Um, I haven't seen a fuel tank, though, in this car. Now, it is possible, of course, that uh, to package everything in here with the game not having... I, I suspect the game not having a small fuel tank as an option or any other sizes of an option to make it kind of work for the car model. They might not have bothered with one going in here. Um, it would be the first time I've seen it have a fuel tank out of a particular vehicle, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there is a fuel tank as a thing going on here. Yeah, I haven't got any of the bodywork, of course, on the car, but doesn't look like there is a fuel tank at all. Okay, yeah, just the way that the, to get the vehicle to be packaged and so on. Uh, they have opted not to include one. That should mean that with some oil in here, our little Honda will drive. We'll give it a go. We'll take it, we'll take it out for a, for a spin. It's certainly not complete, by no means. However, let's go and go and check that, that's good enough. Yeah, let's jump and take it to... I, I know it's not got a seat or a steering wheel or anything like that, but let's go and walk into a post. Well done me! I can control characters. Uh, let's go to abandoned airport or see what message it pops up to tell me what's broken with it. Apparently it works. Cool. Well, here we are at the uh, abandoned airport. Oh, it doesn't half struggle. Are we sure we've got an engine in it? Are we sure I'm not just pushing? <laughs> okay, it might not be... I say fast. It might be barely quicker than cycling. However, it does... <laughs> it does work. Um, is this what this engine is like in normal cars? Or have I done something weird with the vehicle it's I don't know I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure if I haven't if I've got something weird with the car or whether it's just this engine is terrible and I'm used to well quicker vehicles especially having come from one of the fastest cars I've driven so far in this that Shelby Daytona um no oh, that's gonna be a, a clonk into a container I mean it's good handling it is good good handling vehicle but it is not much faster than cycling. That is um, the, the sad truth, I think, <laughs> with this. It's 0-60 time would be eventually still, still I mean, it's 60 kilometers, but it's, it needs to get to 100. In fact, will it get to 60 before it runs out of um, it might struggle to get to 60 before it runs out of abandoned airport to play with. We're going to have to go around corners now to try and get it to place. <laughs> Come on! We can do this! Go on, car! I need a little bit... It, like, it, it, it speeds up... There we go, it's done it. It speeds up the most when it's changing gear. It's peculiar. Um, it's a very, very weird vehicle. Uh, not sure it's a healthy engine, 
Not sure it's a healthy engine or a happy engine particularly. However, as of this particular moment, the Honda lives. It works, it drives, so it does part that pass sorry, that part of the test. Next time out, we're going to see what I can do with the rest of the car in terms of getting the restoration done for uh, that uh, that 20,000. That, though, is going to be it for this video. As ever, I shall link all the mods used in the description so you can download them, have a go with them yourself. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.